Hi students, in this video we are going to learn some problems from arithmetic progression class 10. First question, if 7 times the 7th term of an AP, 7 times the 7th term we should write it as 7 times means multiplication, 7th term means A7 which is equal to 11 times the 11th term. So 11 into A11 we should take. If this is a condition show that 18th term is 0 then we have to prove that to prove a 18 equal to 0 this is our question so this is given that we need to prove so everything is look like a n a n the basic formula of a p is a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d now this is our basic formula we are going to apply wherever we are getting a n now the first one the 7 you have to keep as it is Multiple by a7 is look like a n. So that can be splitted as a plus 7. So here 7 minus 1 into d. This side 11 into a11 again it's look like a n. So a n will be written as a plus n minus 1 into d. So here 11 means 11 minus 1 into d we can split. Now 7 into a plus 7 minus 1 is 6 d. And this side 11 into a plus 10 d we can take. Now we can multiply this inside 7 into a 7 a and 7 into 6 42 d which is equal to 11 into a 11 a and 11 into 10 d 11 into 10 will give you 110 d. Now bring all the a's together and d's together. Now this side we have 7 a this plus 11a if you bring it to this side that is minus 11a and that side we have 110d that plus 42 if you bring it to that side minus 42d we can write. Now 7 minus 11 one is a plus the another one is a minus so minus 4a 11 minus 7 will give you 4a and this side 110 minus 42 if you subtract 42 so 8 and this is 6 68 d we are getting subtraction big number sign plus now we need to get the a value now a is equal to multiplication minus 4 if you are bringing it to that side that will become division whenever you are taking into the division the sign will not get changed you have to take it as minus 4 itself now we can cancel these two 4 ones are 4 balanced to 7 times so a is equal to here minus sign is available so minus 17 d we got so we can stop up to this now let's uh, look into the problem what we need to show that we need to show that 18th term is 0 so let's find the 18th term to find a 18 a 18 is equal to our formula a plus n minus 1 into d that is our basic formula now a plus this is 17 d now we can apply here this is our equation 1 let's apply in the place of a is minus 17 d now in the place of a we can take the minus 17 d here we already have a plus 17 d so minus 17 d and plus 17 d will become 0 this we got from equation 1 this is what we need to show a 18 equal to 0 so 18 the term of a given ap is 0 so hence proved that is your correct solution now look at the next question our question is sum of first n terms of an AP is given by SMC equal to 3N squared minus 4N. Determine the AP is our question. So uh, they have given us SN format. We need to find the AP. AP means we have to write the general form. That is A comma A plus D comma A plus 2D we need to find. That is A1, A2, A3 we need to find. That is a question. Now they have given with us SN. SN is equal to 3N squared minus 4N is given to us. So this is our basic formula to find the an in terms of sn. An is equal to sn minus sn minus 1. How we are getting means for example uh, suppose you are having 100 terms. From the sum of 100 terms if you are subtracting sum of 99 terms what will be the remaining? The 100th term alone will be the remaining right? So while you are doing this we will be getting the 100th term. Same way from the sum of 5 terms I am subtracting sum of 4 terms the, what will be the answer the 5th term alone will be staying. So according to this the an is equal to sn minus sn minus 1 so 
so this is a for basic formula to find the a n in terms of s n now if you the basic thing a 1 and s 1 will be the same the first thing now we will substitute 1 in the place of n now now s 1 is equal to wherever n comes you put the 1 so 3 into 1 square 8 minus 4 into 1 so 1 square 8 will be 1 only so 3 1s are 3 4 1s are 4 we are getting minus 1 now let us find s 2 s 2 is nothing but wherever n comes you have to put the 2 that is it now 3 into in the place of n you take the 2 along with that square minus 4 into in the place of n you take the 2 now this is 3 into 2 squared is 4 so 4 3s are 12 minus 4 2s are 8 the value is 4 now let us find the s 3 also now s 3 so wherever n comes you put the 3 so 3 into n squared is 3 squared minus 4 into 3. 3 squared means 3. 3's are 9. 9 3's are 27 minus 4 3's are 12. If you subtract, so this is 5, 15. So S1, S2, S3 we got it. Now let's find out what is A1, A2 and A3 to determine the AP. The first one, A1 is nothing but S1. That value is minus 1. So we can write it directly. Now if you want to find A2, from the S2 we have to subtract S1, that is our formula. Now S2 value we got 4 here. Now minus of S1 is minus 1. So this is 4 plus 1 will give you 5. Now this is 5. Now A3 if you want to get, from S3 we have to subtract the S2. Now S3 value we got 15, minus of S2 value we got 4. So this is a this is 11. Now our AP is AP is nothing but A1, A2 and A3. A1 is minus 1, A2 is plus 5 and A3 is 11. So the common difference is plus 6 and plus 6 we are getting. So this is a required AP. Look at the next question. The common difference of an AP in which A24 minus A7 is equal A17 is equal to minus 28. So, A24 minus A17 is equal to minus 28. So, it looks like your AN. We know the AN formula, basic formula. AN is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D. So, wherever N comes, subtract 1 and write along with the D. That is a basic. So, A24 will be written as A plus 24 minus 1D. That is 23D. We can write it directly. 24 means 23D. Minus of A17 will be written as a plus 17 minus 1D that will be written as 16D which is equal to sorry this is 28 is given minus 28 which is equal to minus 28. Now open this bracket so A plus 23D minus A minus 16D is equal to minus 28 plus A and minus A will get cancelled. Now 23D minus 16D we are getting if you subtract we are getting 7D is equal to minus 20. 8 here plus 7 only we are getting the multiplication 7 if you take it to that side that will become division so d is equal to minus 28 by 7 if you are cancel we are getting minus 4 we are asking only the common difference so the common difference of the ap is minus 4 a is your correct answer if you find the video is useful please put a like and share with your friends subscribe our channel for more videos